Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. Come, let us sing to every nation, Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people, for He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Come, let us sing to every nation how great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So when the Lord's voice you hear, don't fear or harden your hearts. We know that our God is near by the word He impart. Come, let us sing to every nation, Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, Lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. Come, let us sing to every nation how great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people, for He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Come, let us sing to every nation, Great is our God and King. He is the rock 
of our salvation, lift up your hearts and sing. So when the Lord's voice you hear, don't fear or harden your hearts. We know that God is near by the word He imparts. Come, let us sing to every nation, great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The last Sunday in the liturgical calendar of the church celebrates Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. This King is a shepherd who cares for all of us and protects us. He is the firstborn of all creation, to whom everything is subjected. Christ is a king who judges the nations on the basis of love, justice, and peace. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Honored, 
peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth be on earth. Peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe. Grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. When the kings of Israel failed the people, God presents himself as a shepherd king who cares for his flock. This love of the Lord finds its incarnation in Jesus, the good shepherd and king a reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel thus says the Lord God I myself will look after and tend my sheep as a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep so will I tend my sheep I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out. The strayed I will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd. 
There is nothing I shall want. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. At his resurrection, Christ is proclaimed the king of the universe, the Lord of time. Every moment and every human activity are embraced in his incarnation and resurrection. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ then comes the end. When the ends over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, 
and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill, and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for the one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the last Sunday of the liturgical calendar of the Church culminates with the solemnity of Jesus Christ, the King of the Universe. Nakaraang linggo, napanood ninyo yung Miss Universe na napakaraming kontrobersya. No? Kung hindi kayo makamove on sa Miss Universe, Ngayon, nandito tayo para kay Christ the King of the Universe. Dito walang mabubudol, dito lahat katotohanan. My dear friends, Jesus is our King. Alam natin kung paano natin itrato ang mga hari. Ang mga hari nakatira sa palasyo. Ang mga hari may mga sundalo. Ang mga hari makapangyarihan. At sila ay pwedeng magdikta. Ngunit ang ating pinagdiriwang na hari sa araw na ito ay walang palasyo. Wala siyang trono. Wala siyang ginintuang korona. Ang ating hari ay pinagdiriwang sa araw na ito ay isang hari na parang pastol. Shepherd. Di ba? Kagaya dito sa gospel, sinabi that the sheep will be separated by the shepherd from the goats. And in the responsorial psalm today, we said, The Lord is my shepherd. So, Christ is our shepherd king. And what does a shepherd do? A shepherd takes care of the flock. A shepherd leads the flock 
to greener pastures. The shepherd goes after the lost sheep. That is the kind of king that we have, my dear brothers and sisters. Kung yung mga hari pinapaypayan, yung mga hari kapag sila ay nagmamarcha, sinasamahan ng banda o may taga-announce ng kanilang pagdating, si Kristo muling magbabalik bilang hari, pero siya rin ay babalik bilang huwes. Huhusgaan tayo ayon sa ating ginawa at hindi ginawa dito sa mundo. So, what does the symbolism of the separation of the sheep and goat tell us? It tells us that in the end of time, we will be judged according to our actions, according to how much we have loved Jesus, our Shepherd and King. Paano ba natin ipapakita ang pagmamahal natin sa hari? Ang pagmamahal po natin sa hari ay naipapakita natin sa pamamagitan ng pagsisilbi sa kanya, sa pamamagitan ng pagsisilbi sa kapwa-tao natin. Kaya sinabi dito sa gospel, Lord, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you thirsty? When did we see you ill or in prison? When did we see you naked? When we did we see you a stranger? And Jesus said, Whatever you did to the least of my brothers, you did it unto me. Kung ano ang ginawa mo sa kapwa-tao mo, ginawa mo sa akin. Yun ang sinabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. At yan po ang basehan kung paano tayo huhusgaan sa wakas ng panahon. We will be examined in love. Paano ba tayo namuhay dito sa mundo? Paano natin ipinakita ang ating pananampalataya? Ang ating pananampalataya ay hindi lamang sa, na ipapakita sa pamamagitan ng pagluhod, pagproposisyon. Ang ating pananampalataya hindi lamang po nakikita sa ating pananatili sa loob ng simbahan. Ang ating pananampalataya ay nakikita kung paano natin tratuhin ang mga nagugutom, ang mga nauuhaw, ang mga walang saplot, ang mga estranghero, ang mga may sakit, ang mga bilibid o preso. Yan po ang ating mga pagsisilbihan. Because in them, we see Jesus our King. Yun ang problema natin. Marami sa atin nakakalimot na sa bawat tao naka-imprint ang image and likeness ni God. ba? Diba? When man was created, the book tells us, Genesis tells us, that God created man in His image and likeness. So, you connect that to the gospel today when Jesus tells us, whatever you did to the least of my brethren, you did it unto me. So, we have to see the face of Jesus in our suffering brothers and sisters. We have to discover Jesus in the face of our ordinary neighbor. We have to see Jesus in the strangers, the immigrants among us. We have to see Jesus in those who are deprived of liberty, of those who are in prison, who are struggling to become a better person. In other words, we do things not for ourselves, but rather we do acts of kindness because we see Jesus in others. Tayo ay tumutulong sa nangangailangan, tayo ay nagbibigay ng ating makakayang tulong sa mga namamalimos, sa mga humihingi ng pagkain, sapagkat nakikita natin si Kristo sa kanila. And we have to learn to discover the face of God in people who are not only poor, 
but also people who are suffering because of depression, people who are suffering because of family problems. We have to learn to help them. No, kasi ang problema natin, kapag may problema yung pa- kapitbahay mo, yung pamilya, nag-aawa yung magulang, ano ang ginagawa natin? Nagmamarites. No? Pinapanood yung away na mag-asawa. Tapos ikwekwento mo naman the following day sa barkada mo. Instead na ikonsol mo yung umiiyak na asawa, nako, pinagpipistahan natin. Imbes na tulungan mo yung mga anak na nakakaproblema kasi maghihiwalay ang mga magulang, nako, sinisisi po pa sila. My dear brothers and sisters, let us see Jesus Christ in the different faces of people around us. Tignan po natin ang mukha ng bawat isa sa atin. At sana madiskubre natin ang mukha ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Jesus, our shepherd and king, as I said, does not have a throne, but the throne of our shepherd and king is the heart of each one of us. Ang trono ng Panginoon nating Heso Kristo, ang hari ng sanlibutan, ay ang puso ng bawat isa sa atin. Sana buksan natin ang ating mga puso kay Kristong hari. Sana buksan natin ang ating mga puso sa kapwa nating naghihirap, mga nagugutom, mga nauuhaw, mga may sakit, mga ekstranghero, buksan natin ang ating puso sa kanila sapagkat pag binuksan natin ang puso natin sa mga naghihirap, binubuksan din po natin ang ating puso para kay Kristo na ating hari. So, let us acclaim Jesus our King through our actions, through our example. We acclaim Jesus our King by giving food to the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, giving clothes to the naked, visiting the, those who are ill or in prison, and of course, welcoming strangers. These are what we call the corporal acts of mercy. And if we are merciful to these people, Jesus will tell us to enter into the joy of His kingdom. Jesus will welcome us to His eternal kingdom if we make love, justice, and peace reign in this world. Let us manifest that in our lives, Jesus is our King. Please stand. We profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that as we celebrate the kingship of His Son, we may always seek His kingdom and persevere in becoming witnesses to it through our piety and works of charity. Full of trust, we pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. 
the true Christ, our King and Shepherd, the shepherds of the church may following Christ's example, tend the weak, seek out the laws, and gather all the sheep into one flock, we pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. The true Christ, our leader and Savior, government and civil leaders, may lead the nation to a more loving and caring community which promotes and protects the dignity and rights of the poor, the marginalized, and the weak, we pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. The true Christ, the Word incarnate, the people who are in need and in pain, may experience the presence of God in the hands and hearts of those who minister and care for them, we pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven, we pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, through Christ our King, hear our prayer. Loving Father, grant our humble petitions that we may live as your faithful followers who proclaim your Son as our Master and King by our acts of love and kindness to our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Tanggapin ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmula sa pagpapalamo. Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkatinibig mo, ngayon na nanalig. Nagmamahal sa'yo Pinapay na nagmula Sa butil ng triko Pagkain nagpipikay Ng buhay mo At alak na nagmula sa isang tangkay ng upas Inuming nagbibigay lakas Punin at tanggapin ang alay na ito Biyayang nagmula sa pagpapala mo Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkatinibig mo Ngayon na nanalig, nagmamahal sa iyo Lahat ng mga lungkot, ligaya at pagsubok Lahat ng lakas at kahinaan ko Inaalay kong lahat, buong pagkatao Susunod sa'yo Kunin at tanggapin Ang alay na ito Pangabiyayang nagmula 
sa pagpapalang mo. Tandaan ang bawat puso pagkatinibig mo. Ngayon na nananalig, nagmamahal sa iyo. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos Naupupuno ang langit at lupa ng kadakilan mo O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana O sana sa kaitaasan, pinagpalang na paririto sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, o sana. O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice 
and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O oh Lord Until you come again until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Search of hollow meaning, 
Let His love feed the hunger in your soul till it overflows with joy. You yearn to know. Stand. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, 
that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ the King of the universe, we may live with Him eternally in His heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while. We will now have the second basket collection for the construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Piat. Those who wish to give more may give your donations at the parish office. Thank you. Kung mapapansin po natin, ang ating simbahan ay malapit na pong matapos. Ngunit marami pa po tayong gagawin na finishing. So kami ay humihingi ng tulong sa inyo para matapos natin ang development ng Basilica ng Our Lady of Piat para handa bilang paghahanda sa 400 years sa pagdiriwang ng pagtatalaga ng dambana ng Piat sa December 26. So inaanyayahan namin kayong lahat na makiisa sa December 26 sa pagdiriwang ng 400 years ng dambana ng Piat. Let us celebrate Christ the King as a parish today at 4 o'clock this afternoon. After the 4 o'clock Mass, the procession and the consecration to Christ the King will take place. Paalala po bilang pagpupugay natin kay Kristong Hari, lagi tayong magsimba ng may damit na wasto para sa misa. Pinapaalala na naman namin, ang palda ng mga babae dapat knee length or below the knee. Anything that is above the knee that is considered mini skirt. So, bawal po ang mini skirt, short pants, crop top, yung mga damit na nagpapakita ng pusod, yung damit na may plunging neckline na nagpapakita ng dibdib, at mga sleeveless na damit lalo na po yung spaghetti o kaya tubeless, a tube na damit, no? And of course, yung mga ripped jeans, yung may mga butas-butas sa pantalon na nagpapakita ng binti. And of course, transparent dresses. Hindi po yan kaaya-aya para sa pagsamba sa Panginoon. And reminder, para po sa may mga dalang mga bata, See to it na kapag pinapila ninyo sila sa, sa communion, nag-first communion na sila. Dapat alam nilang tumanggap ng katawan ni Kristo. At hindi pinaglalaroan yung katawan ni Kristo sa bunganga. Handa nga idila-dila, apo. Tapos, kung tatanggap tayo ng communion, tang tandaan natin, Diyos at Hari natin ang tinatanggap natin. So, tanggapin natin ng may malinis na kamay at dila ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ganito po ang pagtanggap ng communion. Yung kaliwang kamay sa ibabaw at yung kanang kamay sa ilalim. Yung kanang kamay ang pupulot sa ostya at isusubo ito sa bunganga sa tabi ng ministro. Huwag dalhin ang ostya sa upuan at lalong-lalo na huwag iuwi ang ostya. Tanggapin natin ang katawan ni Kristo at bigyan natin siya ng tamang panahon para sumaatin. So, ibig sabihin yan, pagbalik natin sa upuan, magdasal tayo. Huwag tayo makipagkwentuhan agad sa katabi. Magdasal tayo. Magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon dahil natanggap natin siya. So, huwag na huwag dadalhin sa upuan ang katawan ni Kristo at wag na wag iuwi ang tinanggap na katawan ni Kristo sa bahay. Bawal po yan at kayo ay pwedeng kasuhan ng simbahan. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May God bless you with heavenly blessing, make you always holy and pure in His sight, pour out in abundance upon you the riches of His glory, and teach you with the words of truth. May He instruct you in the gospel of salvation, and ever endow you with fraternal charity. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Bilang bahagi po ng ating fund campaign, meron po tayong mga calendars sa binebenta sa labas para sa paglilikom ng pondo para matapos ang painting at mga pader ng basilika. Salamat po. Puso ko'y nagpupuri, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Nagagalak ang aking espiritu sa aking tagapagligtas. Sapagkat liningap niya, kababan ng kanyang alim. Mapalat ang pangalan ko sa lahat ng mga bansa. Ang puso ko'y nagpupuri, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Nagagalak ang aking espiritu sa aking tagapagligtas. Nagagalak ang aking espiritu sa aking tagapagligtas. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat O Virgin Mary, our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then the dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.